Uncovering the hidden truth about electric vehicle tires. Let's find out. Common theory going around that you must have very expensive special tires for an electric vehicle or EV, because of the tremendous extra weight of the battery pack. Most of that can be true, except the must-have, and very expensive parts of the theory. Let's start with the reason given, the super heavy battery pack, and specialized EV tires are required on an EV. Yes it does add weight over a full gas tank but, an EV does not have a transmission with 700 to 800 metal parts which is about 100 plus pounds, or metal gasoline engine with pistons and valves usually about 500 pounds, so then the question should be, how much heavier is an EV compared to an internal combustion engine or ICE car? A Tesla Model 3 rear motor weighs about 200 pounds for comparison. Let's take a look at some equivalent ICE and EVs. A BMW 330i has a curb weigh listed as 3,582 pounds versus a Tesla Model 3 with a curb weight of 3,648 pounds, that is a 66 pound difference. Okay, what about the top selling sedan, the Toyota Camry? The Camry has a listed curb weight of 3,310 pounds which is a difference of 308 more for the Tesla 3, that is a fair difference but not how bad it is made to sound. What about an SUV? The Tesla Model Y all-wheel drive, that has to be much heavier than a ICE SUV, right? The Model Y all-wheel drive weighs in at 4,416 pounds which is a lot. However the Lexus RX 350 all-wheel drive is 4,387 pounds which comes out to a whopping 29 extra pounds. So while it is true that, ideally EV-specific tires are used on an EV, they are not absolutely required, though the load rating must be sufficient for the vehicle's weight. Tire prices are similar to ICE vehicles. Please like, subscribe, comment and share. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.